years since the U.S. Marines liberated Guam from the Japanese occupation. And although the fighting has stopped, it's important to reflect. South Pacific Memorial Association Director Aoki Kazu says this is the sixth annual peace ceremony at the historical Jigo site. We cannot forget about war, so we have, we have uh, been uh, seeing the future be peace. So we are the, every year we can do the uh, peace ceremony here. SPMA board member Art Dioro says the association dates back to 1965 as a result of collaboration between Guam and Japan to pray for the remains of Japanese soldiers who were spread throughout the island. Today's ceremony included a joint prayer for peace by Buddhist and Catholic clergy called the Maria Cannon Festival. During the war, down, down below in the Depression, that was where General Bata uh, had his uh, uh, command post, and this is, was the last site uh, where the battle ended on Guam in 1944. Two Japanese veterans were present to include 92-year-old Shigeru Nagata and 82-year-old Kazuo Hoshi. Nagata stood at the site this afternoon remembering his days as a soldier, but finds peace looking at the tower that resembles a pair of hands praying. Okay. Yes, I feel uh, peace in my mind when I visit here now. Hoshi recalls he was a meteorology student in Saipan when war broke out. I was a civilian at that time when the war started and the Americans landed here. We were incorporated into the military and at, that's the time that we were trained to throw gr grenade and uh, how to fight. Looking back the war area at uh, war time, and now that it's so peaceful, that I feel that the relief that it's uh, so peace, uh, feel uh, peaceful mind, and uh, hopefully that uh, this uh, peace will last long. The SPMA is set to work with Anafa Malik for the month of October in celebration of Peacemaker Month. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco.